So today um, I was actually talking about a study that we're doing with warm and cool season grasses. It is divided into different varieties and um, different types of grasses. We're looking at four different cool season grasses and then we're looking at Bermuda grass as a warm season grass and then we're also um, further dividing it down into doing crumb rubber application. Crumb rubber is traditionally used on artificial field, artificial um, turf. And so, but it actually was used, and it started in um, live turf. It's been shown previously to help with compaction and a lot of things that we actually are trying to look at when we are doing pesticide free, because in 2010, um, Connecticut, it uh, banned pesticides on any athletic field for pre-K through eighth grade. And what's happening is the field aren't managed with chemicals anymore and so they actually are um, are becoming less and less desirable. You're seeing more crabgrass encroachment, you're seeing a lot of grub pressure, you're seeing a lot of things that normally you would control with chemicals becoming a problem again. And so we are trying to figure out a way to manage fields again with no chemicals or minimal chemicals that are still safe for kids. And the exciting thing I guess would be the Bermuda grass and people are excited about the Bermuda grass because it's normally a warm season grass and um, we're trying to pull it farther north. This is the farthest north that I know of that it's ever been looked at and we le we're looking at three different varieties of it and one of them actually seems pretty promising like we had survived the winter and so we actually are the, in the forefront of this in that we have this ban already in place so we have a need and a necessity to actually start doing research for this ban. So I think we'll, we'll probably be ahead of some of the other universities in this. That's what I guess my study was about today.